another chance for the Northern Hemisphere to get one over its southern rival. It is only here you'll see it. One off, what if? This is it. This is your series. You pick the matches, you pick the players, you pick everything. And well, we've got another ripper of a battle versus Hemispheres here with Clement taking on the New South Wales Waratahs. It's France versus Australia, and it is said to be a doozy. It is another request from DJM17, and yep, this is what he wants to see. So, Clement here, a French side. Just what I want. I'm sure I'll struggle through, but these names aren't so bad. Clement is a side with a few New Zealand players in the whole team. One notably starting at 14 is Sidovini Sibivatu in the reserves and on the bench uh, Kevin Senio and Benson Stanley just to name a couple so a few New Zealand influences but when you got players in your back line like Ruggeri the French international you know he's a super player and a pretty heavy Georgian influence as well as you see by number three the plop the prop Varash Kavili make a hash of that name so come on a decent side, there's no doubt about that, and they'll be coming up against the Waratahs who, well, they're a decent side themselves, they've come a long way in this year's Super Rugby competition with the influence of players like Folau and Peter Beetham on the wings. A fairly talented back line with a ball running number 10 in Brendan Foley, but a forward pack who can easily hold its own with big ball players like Wycliffe, Palu and Plotanau, the hookers and a fairly decent side, which should be a pretty good battle. Don't forget about 19-year-old Hooper at number seven. That guy is a prodigy from, well, the Australia will love him for years to come, no doubt about that. So, another special match, this. North versus South. Another hemisphere battle, and it's the Waratahs, who will get things underway through a short kickoff and a blustery win, and it's picked up straight away from Peter Beetham. So a good start for the Waratahs as Clement try to pile in and get the ball. Can't do so this time. The Waratahs will string a few phases together. They go out, pull on and out. Well, and they've, oh, they're pulling out the passes already. Dennis with the carry there. Clement though, are on him pretty quickly. And it's there at the back. And a good little run here for Clement from the halfback. It's Para. Oh, poor pass. It was a try begging there. And it's gone all the way back. Just to the 22. Good start though from Clement. Here's Pierre. Looking to the left. Oh, trying to free it out to the winger. Loose ball though. Picked up in the end from Clement. And they've still got it now. Short ball. Domingo. Bonnier. Another bad pass. And the Waratahs are in a good opportunity here. They've turned this ball over. And they're right on the line. Taken off the back for McKibben. McKibben. And it's offside penalty. Clement offside. The prop. Don't know about... Oh, yeah, he was. He was backtracking. So it's right in front of the line. The Waratahs. What are they? Yeah, they're going to have a kick. McKibben takes these nice close ones. Yes, Brendan McKibben. Good player. Good halfback. With a good boot on him, too, as he secures three points for the Waratahs. 3-0 they lead early on, but, well, Clement will be pretty happy they haven't scored a try. So it's back here for James. Another name you may remember. Played some time in New Zealand for Taranaki, the Brock James. As the kickoff goes long to the Waratahs. And it's there for Douglas. And now it's out to Falau. Super dangerous player, Israel Falau. Is Foley getting a first receiver there. He's got it to Tamani. Oh, loose balls here. Good chance over breakaway here for the Waratahs. Oh, Robinson hit heavy from the fullback. Come on, like the chances of getting this one here, and they need to launch something to get themselves back in the match. Another little run. Off the back from the halfback. Brady. Oh, it's Barty. Barty with a good little run here. Going up through the middle. Para at the back. He's played a good match as a halfback. He's looking to catch this guy napping offside. He has, but he's got a way to cut more. The big lock. Burning down the sideline, and it's going to be an epic chase. Oh, what a tackle in the end. 
Cadmo's gone into touch. The big lock. Whoa, whoa, what a run. And the word has. <laughs> well, the game has other ideas. It's a scrum for Clement. They won't mind. The ref has had a mind explosion. He has gifted the ball to Clement. It's supposed to be a line out for the Waratahs. Clement have the scrum. Where are these refs coming from? Because that is a horrible call. What an effect this could have on the match. His para has it at the back. Looks for Rougeri. Rougeri will be in for the first try for Clement. Oh, he's such a superstar. Is Rougeri. And I'm not even going to try to say his first name. Rougeri with the try, Clement lead 5-3, kick to come, but what about the ref? I'm sorry Baldy, but you've got that horribly wrong. The ball was a super run from the lock. And he's been tackled into touch, the ref says it's a scrum, a scrum, what, what's he talking about? It says it's dead and, ball from the war, dead and goal from the Waratahs, they get the scrum leading to that, and it's a try for Clement. Brock James with the kick developed into a fairly good player in his time did some time as I say in Taranaki all over the place but he's ended up here in Clermont and he takes his first kick which is fairly nice straight through the middle good kick from James and it's 7-3 Clermont lead the Waratahs and Beric Barnes back to halfway it's been a good match so far tight affair so far as Barnes goes short again this time Clement are onto it but they've ruined it with a forward pass so a bit of a stop start affair so far this match neither side gaining too much ascension oh yes it was a bad pass it was never going to hand and McKibben has the ball now for a scrum feed just on Clement's side of halfway we just about need to do a wee tally here of North vs South battles as Clement are monstered in scrum time. It's gone to the right. The Waratahs looking all for the sidestepping Beetham. Peter Beetham hit heavy in the tackle. But the Waratahs still have it at the back. Oh, McKibben off the back. Good run from McKibben. He frees it off to the left. And it looks like it could be a try for the Waratahs. No, he's, he's not scored it. He's short. He's short. He's held up. Clement are all over this, they won the ball, it's there for them, taken off the back, oh this is a good run here from the back of the scrum, oh this is a superb run, he's got 60 metres to go, he's in a heavy chase, he's taken down, oh what a run there, the left winger, oh wow, smoked up, how was he caught, here's Cudmore though, they're having another go, he's, he's injured, he's injured himself, oh Bonnier, Bonnier is injured and Clement were really steamrolling there. And Vusulu will come on to replace the flanker. And Bonnier. Oh, nice pink boots, mate. So an early injury. Para, though. It's a scrum feed for Clement from the injury. Deemed too bad to carry on. Oh, good hit from Clement this time. No distractions here, that's a good hit from them and a good scrum. Waratahs, though, equal to it in the end, but their first hit was all that mattered from Clement. Here they come now, Para. The way to Fafana. It's the way to Brock James. Good ball out to Nalaga. The man who just about scored their first try. Frees a good ball to Barty. The, the flanker, the number seven, who dots down on the left side with a fairly easy trot into the sticks. Well, to the try line at least. Good try there from Julian Barty. Well, there was Brock James. Oh, yes, well, that number 11 there. He has been superb. That big break down the middle. He just got mowed up. He was looking for space. That was a, one of the best runs I've seen. Here he is again, though, freeing up Barty. Good pass. He got smashed. And the big number 7. Had plenty of pace to get there too. And Clement further some pain into the Waratahs as Brock James has a chance to grab another couple. A hard kick though. 
for the left footed James. He's going to have a hard time. There's a heavy wind here. Oh, wow. He's kicked it sideways. Brock James has made an absolute meal of that. The disaster of a kick to end the half. But 12 3 is where it will be as we head in for the half time break. It's frog legs and uh, French beer for the half time crowd. I doubt the players will be into that. So Clement will have dominated the match nearly two thirds of the possession in territory. They've done a pretty good job of that too. And really, they've dominated the match. They've played fairly well. A few chances that, oh, that run from the left wicket was a remarkable piece of play. The Waratahs chasing him down. Offloads fairly even. The Waratahs have had their chances. Should have scored a try when they got that, that uh, penalty, but I guess early on in the match, you take the points. Line break 6-2 tells a big story as Clement 12-3 ahead. They'll be pretty happy at home and they'll want to continue the job and finish off this Waratahs side and take Another victory for the Northern Hemisphere, if they can manage it. Just a nine-point lead, though. So the players are ready now. They're back out there. And, well, top 14 versus Super 15. It's Brock James with another chance. Where's he going to go? Goes to the right against the wind. It goes up, and Fafana is after it. Good run from him. Here's his replacement, Vuslu. Goes rumbling into the 22. Good run for him. It's at the back now. They go to the left. Here's James. Oh, there's big numbers out here. Here's Ruggeri. Ruggeri's going to go himself for the corner. No, he can't make it. He's got it inside for Barty. Is that a try? He's not gone out. Ruggeri has done a superb job. Feed the pass inside to Barty, who's got himself a double. And Clement are looking unstoppable now. Look at this replay. Superb play, Ruggeri went for the corner, went for the glory. Let's slow this down. Oh. Oh. I think the refs might be in a touch of trouble after this match. That bad call from the line out, which really gave Clement the incentive, gave him the forward motion, really scoring that try. And then that call. He wasn't in touch, says the touch judge. The what do they call them now? Second ref? Assistant referee, they call them. No, not touch judges anymore. So he said he wasn't out. The, the call will stand, but oh, I think he was out. Just quietly. Here's a kick from James. Oh, he's aimed it all wrong. The wind's caught it and blown it away. It was looking like it might go over. Conversion missed though. James only the best of days with the boot. Not to worry, he's played all right with the ball in hand. 17 3. The Waratahs, well, they need something here. They've got 35 minutes. This Barnes looks to get them back under eight. The Waratahs have hardly touched the ball here. And here's Domingo. Gets it away. Oh, brilliantly to cut them. Oh, super run there. Come on with the ball once again. Poor pass though. It's for Fana. Good plays. They've got the got the ball. Para. Come on, looking all right here with the ball in hand. Ruggeri. Oh, Sivivatu. First touch of the ball, and he's absolutely made a hash of it. What an absolute big mistake from Sitavini. Sivivatu, the big man. He was all all glory there. He was going for that try. He was gonna smash Falau, I think that was coming across. He was gonna he was gonna put the shoulder into him. He thought about that before he caught the ball. And here's the Waratah scrum though. Put in from McKibben. Oh, huge hit from Clement. And they go charging forward now. Here's Potter. Has it at the back? Looks at Ruggeri. Goes for Fafana. Huge spaces out here. Here's Naglaga. Oh, he's put in a bad pass though. And oh. And Barty has done a big swan dive into touch. Don't know what he was thinking there. That was a poor play. A super, super set play from the from the scrum but it come unstuck a bit at the end and a one poor pass and she all fell apart Clement won't mind too much because they've turned over the line out here's the Lager again looking to the right for Fafana they've been good those two James oh they're still going no bad pass they're looking for Sivivatu here he goes Sitavini oh taken in the mall 
ball and all tackle from the Waratahs. Here comes the support. Can they rumble forward? No, they'll look to free it here. Cudmore. Now for Parra. Short ball for Vuslu. Oh, there's a replacement flanker. Taking the ball up, Waratahs quick into that ruck. Oh, they've done a good job, the Waratahs, and they've turned it over. Now they look short side, McKibben. Back outside. Oh, they've, they've butchered it. Oh, but they've picked it up though nicely. It's there. Now there's a chance here for Ashley Cooper. Ashley Cooper running and stepping. He's got some support. He does get the support away. Poor pass though, and it's gone backwards from quite a few metres. They're back outside the 22 as Beric Barnes picks it up. Still there though for the Waratahs. It's a super run though from them. They've got man numbers on the right. Oh, the big man, the big lock, big Douglas. Was never going to get through three players. Their big break though on the left hand side was pretty destructive. McKibben starting it all. That's Clement. Get the ball out again through Parra. Oh, another bad pass. James has to clean up again. Still there though for Clement. They'll be eyeing up. There's big space on the left. Here's Parra. Gets away to Kaiser. Oh, the hooker. Oh, the hooker. Hasn't got out of touch though. And it's a five minute scrum for the Waratahs. What can they do here? The scrum hasn't been that good for them. Clement getting some good hits. Oh, another big hit for Clement. Oh, they're all over this one. They're really all over this one. Here it comes now. Para thumps it away. The wind catches it. And there's a screaming winger. Nalaga smoking down the left hand side. It's picked up though. And freed up. Good run there from Mitchell to keep that ball. Now they're looking back inside and outside. Here's Ashley Cooper. Gets it away. Here's McKibben. He's got it now. And McKibben goes to ground. And he's injured. He's injured his head. Oh, that looks nasty. Concussion. He'll be off. He will be off. And Turner. Well, they're bringing on Lockie Turner to replace McKibben. Interesting call. Interesting call. So the Waratahs will not be pleased at all. It's another scrum. Clement have been all over the scrums so far. But oh, Waratahs have done brilliantly to win that one so easily. And they fire a huge pass out to the right. Oh, this is a great chance here for Beetham. But he is taken really quite easily in the end. Beetham, no way through there. He's had a good season though, Peter Beetham. Clement though. It was a super big pass out to him. It was wrapped up pretty easily as Para goes out. Well, misses everyone. Ruggeri has to clean up, clean up after it. Misses about three players. They go to the short side. Oh, here's a good chance for Kaiser. Oh, the Georgian, the Georgian prop gives it away to the winger. Well, he hasn't had the best of games though, this man. Oh, and a bad pass from him really sums up his match. He hasn't had the wheels to really spark an opportunity. And that will disappoint them. But Clement in control. Time almost up here. The throw in for Pilotta now. Turned over. Oh, Clement have been all over this match. It should be 100-0. Here they go. James, short ball, looking for someone. Can't find him. Here's Putter again. Again, another short pass not going where it's supposed to. Pierre, Kaiser, out the back door it goes. Sivivatu, no, he can't pick that up. He's had a poor match. His Sitavini. And it's there for the Waratahs now as they flick all the fancy works out there for Wycliffe Palu's in there as well, getting some good game time for him. He's at the back now, Palu. He's away to Pilota now, back inside to Kifu. Clement, oh, big hit in the ruck from Clement. They've blown the Waratahs off the ball. Palu is at the back. He gets it away to Domingo. He throws it out the back for Nalaga. Looking for work, the winger. He's had it. It was so-so match, really. He's cut more. He's been pretty good. Oh, for fun, has hit his head taken off. Who was that? Nasty tackle, man. You see here, number seven, Hooper. Well, yeah, he'll be frustrated, Will Hooper. He has had a poor match. And James, well, he's taken the tap. This is Clement at their best here. Look at this. Oh, he's knocked it off. Look at this, I say, and he absolutely murders it. And he sums up his day in the lager. Not the best match for him, the left winger. 
And wow, look at that. He could have had a huge opportunity. Come on, though. Do enough and win the match. They, they played well enough to win that by a considerable amount. In the end, just 17 to 3. But a win is a win, and the Northern Hemisphere chalk up another one against their Southern Hemisphere counterparts. So the Waratahs, well, they look good for about the first three minutes, and then I think they hardly touch the ball. So Clement, 17, three tries, Barty with two. He played brilliantly. And Rougerie, well, he's a class act, is that man. And you can't expect anything less than an outstanding performance from him. He gets a try, so it's three all up. James, not the day to remember with the boot, but in the end did not matter. He just got the one. And for the Waratahs, McKibben, one penalty. That's all they managed. Disappointing from their perspective, but they didn't have the ball, as we're about to see. 74% possession. A bit of a... Well, that's a bit of a creaming, really. That's a whitewash. 26 for the Waratahs. That sums it up. Clement really should be disappointed that they didn't score a lot more points. Handling error is 18. I guess that's a um, fair reason why they didn't score more points. The scrums dominated by Clermont. They had the Waratahs pinned down. The forwards played poorly. Well, an entertaining match, I guess you could say. Full of mistakes. Clermont, though, a class above. Easily taking out the woeful War Waratahs in this one-off what-if match. Special request, as always, by you. Remember, if you have your own, leave it in the uh, comment section below. And if you like the series, give us some support. Like the video, favorite it, leave a comment, do whatever you want. Remember to subscribe as well, if you haven't already, because then you'll see each and every one that everyone has requested. I put every match I get uh, together on a list and play through them. Just for you guys. So, I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you again soon for one-off. What if? Thanks for watching and take care.